All right. The city of Wren's introducing their first the newest police officer, a canine named Harlow. Our Audrey Dickerber is in Wrens with a look at the new addition that's a first for the small town. Wrens has been experiencing a lot of violence and sadness lately with some high profile arrests and shootings, but tonight they are all able to gather together and celebrate Christmas while also meeting the police department's new canine who's been spending a lot of time here. But while Harlow is not here, she's out adding a sense of protection and security to people who live here. We're able to take them through events such as the one that we're having here, being able to get them into businesses, take them to the elementary school. Um, shows the kids a different side of law enforcement. Law enforcement is hoping she'll help decrease crime while also being a friend to the community. We can't be naive to the point that we have three major highways that run through our city and we, we can't be naive to the fact that we know that narcotics run up and down the streets. We know this. Um, so Harlow is going to be a, a, a huge asset to us to be able to use her uh, in those situations to where we know that narcotics is probably there. Dogs like Harlow can cost up to $20,000, but for the Rens Police Department, she was free. Quality Canine donated Harlow, the Shield Club paid for her training, and the Georgia Police Canine Foundation paid for her equipment. We just always thought that a canine was just outside of our reach because of the cost, you know, with the equipment, the training, um, you know, the maintain the dog, and, um, you know, just this is just a blessing. Helping in many different ways. She's a tracking dog as well. So, uh, you know, she can, you know, track someone that may be fleeing from us. I look for, you know, a missing children or a missing person. So, so she's trained in all aspects of, of tracking as well as detection. Providing safety so people in runs can have extra protection at community events. Just met Harlow and she's a wonderful dog and we're very glad to have her on our police force here. And it's really positive. I saw a lot of children come up and pet her and want to talk to her. They expect Harlow to officially be out on the streets by next year. In runs, Audrey Deckerber on your side.